गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज वृशाली इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द पार्ट वन ऑफ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर्किटेक्चर इन दैट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ पिक आर्किटेक्चर विथ डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स एंड मेमरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट टू ऑफ पिक आर्किटेक्चर डायग्राम वी डिस्कस्ड सम रिमेनिंग कंपोनेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ पिक आर्किटेक्चर I have mentioned the link of previous video in below description box. So, as per the PIC 18 microcontroller uh, block diagram, the next component of architecture that is serial communication protocols. So, basically, the serial communication protocols means the name suggests that they can perform the communication between the devices by in serial mode. Means they can transfer one bit of data at a time. consecutively over the communication channel for example 1001 so they can transfer one after the zero after zero and after one in this format consecutively while communication so this is called as serial communication so for serial communication purpose pic 18 microcontroller used three protocols so first protocol is usart so in pin diagram the pin number 25 and 26 they having the features of US ART protocol so the long form of US ART is universal synchronous and asynchronous receiver and transmitter so basically the communication can be performed between the two devices for example the microcontroller so in US ART protocol they used only single cable for uh, attaching purpose or for communication purpose for example uh, you can connect printer to the computer or uh, to the cpu right or you can connect scanner to the cpu then keyboard mouse this kind of components to the cpu through the single cable right so this is called as usart protocol means they can provide or they can uh, transmit the information through the single cable between the two devices so uh, when this communication can be happen at that time this usart protocol is high or active otherwise it is low so in this protocol data is transmitted and received bit by bit by using single wire so in pic microcontroller having two pins that is txd that is transmission of data and rxd that is received data when this information can be transmitted from one device to another at that time txd equal to 1 otherwise 0 and rxd means when information can be received from one device to another device at that time rxd equal to 1 otherwise 0 so these two protocols or two pins are used for transmission and receive data through the single cable so there are different applications like see here in this diagram that is a bluetooth then a gps receiver then gsm then rfid so this all components are connected to the microcontroller through the single cable so at that time this us art pin is high means they provide this kind of features next now the next serial communication protocol is spi spi stands for serial peripheral interface and in pic 18 microcontroller pin diagram it supports pin number 18 23 and 24 so basically when microcontroller or processor uh, fetch or receive the information through the sensors through the shift registers or through the sd cards so at that time this spi protocol is active or otherwise this protocol is deactive means generally spi protocol has a greater data handling capability as compared to usart because usart handle the data communication through the single cable but spi protocol handle the data communication through the sensors or through the shift registers and sd cards so they handling this kind of communication now the next serial communication protocol is i2c I2C stands for inter integrated circuit. So uh, in pin diagram of PIC 18 microcontroller the pin number 18 and pin number 23 provide this features of I2C. So basically I2C uh, this protocol can be used to connect some low speed devices like a uh, EEP ROM like analog to digital converter. So these these are the some devices are available. So you can connect these devices to the microcontroller. so at that time i2c protocols are active so pic microcontroller supports a two wire interface or i2c communication between the two devices which can work as a both master and slave devices 
For example, let's consider that there is a microcontroller. So microcontroller is always work as a master. Okay. And there are some remaining components like timer. The next component is counter. The next component is GPS. So these all components are connected to the microcontroller, right? So these all components are called as slave and microcontroller is called as master. In another words, computer, computer or CPU, this work as a master and you can connect keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, then a speaker, this all things to the computer, right? So this all things are work as a slave. So this is a, uh, this is a concept of master and slave devices. So generally I2C protocol supports this kind of features. Now the next component of architecture diagram that is interrupts. So in a uh, next unit that is uh, unit three, we will learn interrupts in detail, right? So basically pin number 33, 34, 35 and 36 in PIC 18 microcontroller uh, pin diagram, this supports this kind of features. So generally interrupts means when a CPU can perform a normal execution and at that time interrupts will occur. So they can stop the normal execution and serve the interrupt first. Okay. So interrupts is just like a errors means they stop the current task and you need to firstly solve the interrupt and after the current task will be resumed. For example, uh, see when a microcontroller does not know when user will press the button, right? So when a task is performed continuously to the monitor or CPU and when user press the button, so at a time suddenly the current task was stopped, right? So means interrupt is occur. So first you need to solve the interrupt, then again resume the current task. So basically this is called as interrupts. So we will learn these things in detail in next unit. Now the next component of architecture is input output ports. So basically this is a one of the most thing important thing in PIC 18 microcontroller. So PIC 18 microcontroller having a pin diagram of 40 pins. We will learn pin diagrams in detail in next unit. I will uh, upload the video on that uh, same topic that is pin diagram of PIC 18 microcontroller in next some sessions. Okay. So basically a PIC 18 microcontroller having total five ports A, B, C, D and E. So port A they provide the seven bit. So port A having seven pins or seven features. Port B having eight pins. Port C is eight pins means eight bit. Port D also eight pins and port E having three pins. So these are the five ports and these are the 40 features are there. So from that 40 pins, 34 pins can be used as an input output pins. Okay. And remaining pins is work as a power supply, some grounds purpose. So basically there are total three registers. This register supports this all ports that is trace A register, port register and latch register. So generally trace register is also called as data direction register. Means as I said, a PIC 18 microcontroller, every pin work as an input as well as output like bi-directional pin. So trees if trace register is equal to one, so the particular pin work as an input pin. And when trace register equal to zero, the particular pin work as an output pin in this way. So trace register decide those things. Now port register. So port register generally used for to fetch or to read the data of each and every ports like port A, port B. So they handle the data regarding the particular ports and latch register generally used for to writing the output means when particular pin work as output. So at a time latch register is work write the data through the microcontroller. Okay. So that is latch register. So generally th these three registers supports the five ports. Now next one is CCP module. So this CCP that is capture compare and PWM model. So we will learn this thing in detail in the unit four. So CCP module is a complete is based on your unit four. So I will explain this thing in detail in next some sessions. So basically you just remember this thing here. CCP module work in the following three modes. The first C is called as capture mode means when signals are arrived. So at that time the particular microcontroller captured those signals. So this is called as capture mode and compare mode means it works same as an analog comparator means they capture the signals and convert those signals into the analog format or into the output signals and P means PWM mode. 
This mode provides the resolution pulse and duty cycle that is programmable. The best example of CCP module is ECG. ECG is generally used in medical application. They shows the pulse rate or a heart rate in a particular waves form, right? So that is PWM. Means they can show the heart rate or pulse rate in resolution pulses or in particular cycle format. So that is CCP module. So they can be provide this kind of functionalities. Now the next one is timer. So timer is also an important component in architecture of PK-10 microcontroller. So basically timer is complete in your second unit. I will explain this all things in detail in second unit. So basically timers and counters are the important features in this architecture diagram. So timers generally used for to calculate the execution time of particular task and how many times are required for performing a particular task or particular cycle. So that is timer and counter count the value or pulses values of each and every task. So basically there are total four different timers in PK-10 microcontroller that is timer 0, 1, 2 and 3. So timer 0 generally supports 8 bit and 16 bit of data. Timer 1 is 16 bit timer, timer 2 is 8 bit and timer 3 is 16 bit timer. So according the requirements, according the features, these timers are work. And this each and every timer is having a particular prescaler values. For example, uh, the fan. The speed of fan is uh, set between 0 to 5, right? 0 means switch off the fan. 1 means lowest speed of fan. And 5 means highest speed of fan, right? So this is a prescaler value of fan. So in this way, there are different prescaler values of timer. So according the prescaler values, these timers are work. That is as per the high to low frequency or low to high frequency. So I will explain these prescaler values in detail in next some sessions. So you just remember this thing here. There are total four timers, 0, 1, 2, 3 as per their bits. Now the next component of architecture is analog to digital and digital to analog converter. So uh, basically in digital to analog converter, there are no analog outputs in PIC microcontroller. See here in this diagram, that is digital signals, that is 0, 1, high, low format. And by using DAC, by using converter, this digital signals can be converted into the analog forms, in waves forms. And at the opposite, see here analog to digital converter. So analog signals, that is waves form. So converter convert this signal into the digital form. So converter use the voltage in between 0 volt to 5 volt for performing the particular task. So the best example of this converter is your telephone system. Means you can speak in your own native language. So this language can be converted into the digital forms that is 0101 formats. And these digital signals can be converted into the analog format. And respectively reverse way these actions will be performed. So telephone system is best example of converter. So these are the some remaining components of PIC-18 microcontroller architecture diagram. Hope you can uh, learn these all type components. Thank you. Keep watching.